Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. Thank you for the invitation last night to come here to meet with you and other colleagues uh, to look at the situation, the evolving situation in the Sahel and within the ECOWAS region have made it necessary for the French and European partners to rethink the nature of their involvement and assistance in the fight against terrorism. In the epicenter is Mali, in Mali and the neighboring regions. We support this reformulation and the rethinking, but the decision essentially is that of the French and the European partners. That they, are, they are finding it difficult to be able to cooperate in any meaningful way with the authorities in Mali over the jointly. All of West Africa, and this is the interest of ECOWAS, all of West Africa, including the coastal states, I refer here to Cote d'Ivoire, to Ghana, Togo, Benin, all the states in West Africa. We already know about the threats of terrorism in Nigeria with Boko Haram, but all of the states in West Africa are vulnerable to the, uh, to the penetration of terrorist outrages in West Africa. And we are therefore re-examining together with our, our friends and partners the manner in which we can respond most effectively to these emerging threats. That there is a need for a broad coalition of forces against terrorism in West Africa is indisputable. Well, our belief is that at the center of any successful initiative must be the primacy of the armed forces of the, of, of the, of the countries of the region. What the French and other European nations can bring by way of assistance has to be assistance to our forces who are engaged in the fight against terrorism. And that is the whole purpose of the Accra Initiative that we originated in Ghana, to bring together the coastal states to anticipate the problems that are now before us and do so by sharing intelligence, cooperating in joint border raids against terrorist uh, cells in our areas and beyond. And now looking at again at the possibility of what other options are available to us in the Accra Initiative and within the broader ECOWAS community as to how to confront this menace. It cannot be that having been chased out of the Middle East and Afghanistan, that the terrorist uh, elements will find permanent home in West Africa. That cannot be the case. We have also to be resolute in making sure that the future of our nations are free of these uh, terrorist and violent extremists. There is a fundamental determination that the, of all of us within the ECOWAS community, and that is to construct a future based on democratic values. That is the fundamental principle that animates the protocols that link all of us in West Africa, a commitment to democratic values, to democratic legitimacy. And this is what has compelled us to take action in all the states which have now suffered unconstitutional changes of government in Guinea, in Mali, in Burkina Faso, that we do not accept that West, in West Africa, within the ECOWAS space, changes of government will come through the barrel of the gun. The changes of government that will come that are legitimate and acceptable are those that are adorned by the people through free and transparent elections, through the ballot box. And that fundamental commitment is what shapes all of us, all of ECOWAS's policies within the, the, the community and in the response. But as, as we're here, basically... Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.